Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan and today we're changing it up. I've only covered college football in my main videos. In NBA and Life Shorts, we are changing it up and we'll be covering fantasy football for the NFL. If you know me well, which I doubt most of you do, I love fantasy football more than any other thing in sports. It's my favorite thing to do. I've done it for the past five years. I'm not bad at it. I'm, not, I'm pretty good at it actually. So let's get into it. This is my, I'm talking about the running backs now, because usually in the early part of the draft, you look at your running backs and it's usually one of the first people off the board. Unless if you're one of those leagues that they draft quarterbacks in the first round, running backs go off the board first, but after the top five, top six running backs is usually a drop off. So today we'll be covering those players that you can probably get in not later rounds. I'm not talking about like 12, 13. I'm talking around probably four to probably four to eight. That'd be very good second or third running backs on your teams. So this is 11 through 20 of my top 20 running backs list. And number 20, I have Jamal Williams. Jamal Williams was a touchdown machine for the Lions last year, especially on the goal line. Him and DeAndre Swift made up a very good run game for the Lions. First really good run game they've had in a very long time. So that was very nice to see that for them. But the only problem, I would put Jamal Williams higher, but he's going to New Orleans. He's going to have to split carries with Alvin Kamara. So that's going to be very tough for him to have that same production that he had with the Lions because his main production was touchdowns. So unless he was in the red zone a lot, Alvin Kamara is going to get a lot of those touches, non-red zone, and then short line situations, Jamal Williams will. So that's why I have number 20. Number 19, I have Brees Hall. Brees Hall's at 19 only because he had his injury last year. I'm pretty sure he tore his ACL. I am very high on Brees Hall. I drafted him last year to see how he was going to do. He tore his ACL, and that was very sad for my team. But he was great. He was a touchdown machine coming to Iowa State. He's very quick. He's not like Jamal Williams, that he only can score pretty much. His main usage is not just in like the red zone or short yard situations. It's mainly anywhere on the field. I mean, he had a big rushing touchdown against the Broncos before he got hurt. So stuff like that. He can go anywhere on the field. He's in every down back, which is very good. He could definitely become a running back one in two years, possibly even this year, because Aaron Rodgers and Garrett Wilson will be taking away a lot of the run pressure that they would probably have in Brees Hall anyways. Number 18, Jameer Gibbs. He's filling in for DeAndre Swift and Jamal Williams at Detroit. We saw what he could do at Alabama. He was one of the best running backs last year. He was one of the best receiving backs last year. I think it's going to be very fun to watch him play at the Lions. I think he would do very good, but it's his first year, so he won't be great, but I think he'd be very good for a running back for the rookie year. And number 17, I have Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones definitely can be very good. Jordan Love's going to be the quarterback for the Packers, so they might be running the ball more. Eh, I'm just not a... Aaron Jones definitely has his big games. But he's very sometimes inconsistent. He can have a 30-point game. In two weeks, he has less than 10. It's very random for Aaron Jones at times. But that's why I'm number 17, because he's pretty inconsistent. And number 16, I mentioned him earlier, Alvin Kamara. I have Alvin Kamara at 16 because, well, he's going to have to split the load of Jamal Williams. So the short yard situations that he would probably get his carries in, he's not going to have anymore. Why? Because you have Jamal Williams, and he was elite last year at that, so why would they give Alvin Kamara those touches? But you got Derek Carr. You know Michael Thomas is not going to play. If he does, I'd be shocked because that he did. Michael Thomas does not like playing football anymore. He used to. used to be very good. He doesn't like playing football anymore. So the receiving threat's not going to be there. Chris Olave definitely is, but difference, big difference between having to guard one guy mainly and two guys mainly. That free up everything. But Alvin Kamara, I don't think it's going to have many touchdowns this year. But he'll get good amount of receiving yards. Still a good production, but those touchdowns mean a lot. Number 15, Travis Etienne. Travis Etienne's very good. He did fumble a couple times last year. That's not a good sign, but he was a rookie. That can happen. Only problem I have with him is that are they going to run the offense with him or through Trevor Lawrence? 
And if I had the bet, it'd be Trevor Lawrence. Because with Calvin Ridley coming back, you have already have Evan Ingram, you have Christian Kirk, you have players like that. So why wouldn't they just use those guys a lot more? And Trevor Lawrence is young. They made the divisional round last year, mainly working through tra Trevor Lawrence. So, yeah, I mean, Etienne's production will be probably around the same as last year. Maybe a little bit more. I mean, he was around the 20s last year for production-wise. Maybe a little bit higher, closer to 15. I haven't gone to 15 this year for production-wise. At number 14, I got the man who was on my team last year in fantasy. He's also on my favorite NFL team, Ramondre Stevenson. R Ramondre Stevenson, the only reason I have on here, is because I think he shows way better than Damian Harris. If you just watch these play, Ramondre Stevenson is the only guy. He can make plays out of, out of the backfield. He can receive very well. He can throw a screen pass to him. He can get a lot of, he can get a lot of yards out the catch. He is a good, and he's pretty good in the red zone. He struggled very badly against the Bengals last year. That's the one game he struggled heavily in. Outside of that, he played pretty good in all the games he got production in. Mac Jones likes using his running backs at times. Well, Matt Patricia only liked running slants last year, so hopefully that's changed. So hopefully Ramondre Stevenson gets even more touches this year because I think he's very good. I think he has potential to even shoot up to the top 12 in running backs, in my opinion. But that would be very tough. But I think he has the capability to do that. At number 13, Najee Harris. Najee Harris was disappointing last year. I drafted him last year, and he was very disappointing. He didn't really do much. I ended up dropping him at one point last year. By the way, my league I'm in is a six-person league. It's my family, pretty much. So the people I draft, and my, if I drop Najee, it's like, why do you drop Najee? Well, it's because there's a lot of talent in my league. Just I could pick up a guy. And there's still a lot of talent. Like, I think I picked up Cordo Patterson. He needs to be pretty good. So, like that. That's an example. But Najee Harris, I think it's going to have a little bit of a bounce back year. I mean, he struggled last year, but their whole offense struggled last year. Because you, had a, you didn't know who was going to be your quarterback. Was he the Mitchell Trubisky? Was it either going to be Mason Rudolph, Kenny Pickett? They picked Kenny Pickett. And after that, Najee Harris started to give him a bit more touches. A little bit more in production wise. He had a very good game against the Bengals at one point. He definitely has that number one running back potential that showed in his rookie year. He actually was a running back number one in the rookie year. So I think he can get back to that, but not yet. I got I this offense for the Pittsburgh Steelers has to prove himself. Has to prove himself for me. Najee Harris to be worthy as a number two, one running back. But I could see him being a perennial number two running back at the moment. And number 12. I have Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon talked about a little bit inconsistency. He had a very slow start to the last year. Then he had like a six touchdown game against the Panthers and dropped 50. Dropped 50 fantasy points in one game. That's absurd for a running back. Even for a, for even for a quarterback, that's absurd. For especially for a running back, that was mostly in the first half, too. It was insane. Then he kind of died off again. But he can have a good comeback here. He can be very good this year. I could probably, I would probably suggest to draft Joe Mix, Joe Mixon because probably still in that middle category. I would suggest to draft him still, because I think he is very, very good. Then at number eleven, kind of sucks for me to say this one because he, not last year but the year before last year, was my best player on my fantasy team. He was so good, but he's kind of taken a back. He's kind of stepped back. Jonathan Taylor. And it's not his fault. It's because they wanted to throw the ball of Matt Ryan a lot. So he dropped out a lot in the fantasy running back rankings. Because he was drafted. He was supposed to be number overall pick last number one overall pick last year in a lot of fantasy leagues. He was definitely going in the first round. But then his production was like seventh round talent. Seventh round production. But now you got Anthony Richardson. Those QB reads, those QB powers will take some pressure off of Jonathan Taylor. They're going to probably use him a lot more. Those read options will be very fun because Anthony Richardson is very fast. He has deep ball potential because he can throw it very deep. So the RPOs, if they run streaks, you got to respect that. So I got Jonathan Taylor being my 11th guy for the moment. But that's in my 11th or 20s. That's probably my running back one, running back twos and threes. But definitely the other guys I'm going to mention in my next video. 
will be my running back ones. If you can get these guys, if you can get two of these guys, you are very well off. I'm going to mention next video. But yeah, hope you all have a great day. Stay safe. Hit the like button if you like the video. Comment if you want to say anything else. Give your own prediction. Give your own top 20 when it comes to fantasy running backs. Again, this video is 11 through 20. Next video, I'll do 10 through 1 through 10. Yeah, hope you have a great day and God bless y'all.